Hey besties, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara Savage. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this gathered skirt with um, elastic back, zip slits. Guys, it's going to be a flat front elastic back basically with this long slit that comes with a zipper. So let's get started with this amazing tutorial. So guys, the first thing you're going to do is measure your waist circumference times 3. So multiply your waist circumference by 3 and then that's what you should have as your fabric. Now, this measurements that you get, divide it by 2. So imagine your waist times 3 is 64 inches. 64 divided by 2 will give you 32 inches. Now, if you are cutting out your fabric, you should have 32 inches wide fabric, 2 pieces cut it out and then place them right sides facing just like i've done right here and fold it into two so can you guys see fold it into two just like i've done right here so you're going to have one side as the folded side and the other side will have the four open spaces basically now you're going to measure from the top to 40 inches because that's what i'm going to use for like the length of the skirt basically so i'm using 40 inches so measure from your waist to your hem whatever measurement you get measure it and measure it on your fabric just like this so in my case it's 40 inches i'm using i'm going to measure it and mark it right there now i'm going to rule a line at that 40 inches and then i'm going to cut out the excess now this excess is good because it's going to work as my band because it's actually about five inches wide so now guys you're going to remove one of your pieces just like this and then you're going to fold it right sides facing into two and then into two again so that's like into four so can you guys see one side has the opening and then a fold basically and now what i'm going to do is cut out one of those open sides so you're going to cut out one quarter of this um, fabric that you have right here so can you guys see what i'm doing one quarter of it so you know it's folded into four that's one quarter so you're going to cut it from the top down to the end so now that i've cut it this is what it looks like i have two separate pieces the quarter parts that i cut out and the remaining three quarter parts so this is what it looks like now what we're going to do is we're going to place it right sides facing and they are going to sew it from the top to nine inches from the top or even less if you want it to be less i decided to use eight inches in my case so i'm marking it at eight inches as well so that's what you're going to sew from the top right there to that eight inches so the top is the waist you're sewing it right sides facing the cut out piece so the two pieces that you cut out sew it down right there using one inch now guys you're going to take the other piece the other piece that we kept our back piece and you're going to take one of the bands so you know automatically this band is the measurements that you cut out basically from the top of it take your band right sides facing the wrong side of the skirt piece so the big piece basically so pin it down right there and sew it down to the end once you're done sewing you're now going to flip it over to the main fabric so fold it by half an inch at the top of the band and then overlap it on the main skirt piece so just like i've done right here overlap it and then sew it to the end so you know how we always sew bands so overlap it on it and sew it to the end your dreams instead of mine yeah about to turn this franchise around on a dime man it's all about finding your right state of mind it's all now guys i have sewn the front piece at that um waist to that eight inches that i marked earlier so this is what it looks like and then this is what the other piece looks like i have sewn the band to it and it's time to work on the elastic now you're going to measure your waist circumference divided by two and then you're going to minus one inch from it or half an inch from it depending on your preference basically 
so you can decide not to even you know remove any inches from it so cut it out and then you're going to insert it inside the casing basically so insert it till you get to the other side Once you're done inserting it, fluff it out so that it's even and then pin it on both sides. Now you're going to sew the two sides of this elastic so that it doesn't remove when you're sewing the two pieces front and back together at the end. So sew it on both sides and sew one straight line at the center as well so that it can, you know, keep your elastic in basically. Now I'm going to take the front piece and we're going to work on our zipper. So before I used this um, normal zipper, but guys, please use an invisible zipper. I changed it to an invisible zipper because an invisible zipper works wonders. Like it's so much better. So can you guys see here? I've used an invisible zipper instead. And this is what it looks like. It's way better. So I've pinned down the zipper and this is what it actually looks like. Now I'm going to work on my gathers and I'm going to teach you guys how to use your needle and threads to create amazing gathers basically. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your needle and thread. Make sure the thread in this needle and thread is very long like to an extent. Like make sure it's the length of you know what you need plus about 10 inches so just continue tacking it just like i'm doing right here about others way before myself yeah i guess that's why i feel like i go through hell damn wasting time on your dreams instead of mine yeah about to turn this franchise around on a dime man it's all about finding your right state of mind it's all about turning the worst into fine it's all about time and the work and the climb from the thirst and then once you're done you're going to now start gathering it till you get your waist circumference divided by two measurements so as you're doing it, you're measuring it till you get the measurements that you want. And once you're done measuring it, you're now going to finish off the thread at the end. So basically knot it at the end so that nothing happens and then you're now going to measure your band again so the bands that we cut earlier you're going to measure what you have along your waist circumference divided by two that's what you're going to cut out that exact measurement is what you cut out as the band and then you're going to sew it just like we sewed it the first time on the other side so i'm going to teach you guys another method of adding a band to a skirt so this is how i did this one I've ironed it half an inch and half an inch on both sides and then at the center as well I've ironed it so what I'm basically going to do is I'm just going to place it in between so the gathered part I'm placing it in between this band right here so can you guys see what I'm doing place it in between and then sew it from one end to the other end making sure you're picking both sides and that's the good part of ironing it before starting because as you are sewing the front, you are rest assured that what you are sewing in front is exactly what you are sewing at the back because you've already ironed it into two halves. So as you are sewing it, you are sewing a straight line. The back is also a straight line. You're not missing any stitches, trust me. So that's why it's always good to iron it beforehand. Or you can also use the former methods that I taught you so it's right sides facing wrong sides then right sides facing right side basically how i taught you guys earlier and now this is what the front piece looks like i told you guys i changed it to an invisible zipper which is what i've done right here and this is what the elastic back looks like as well 
now what you're going to do is you're going to place your fabric right sides facing so your skirt pieces basically place them right sides facing and then before i continue you will notice i finished the edges of my um zipper side basically so can you guys see the edges they are not raw i've sewn it quarter of an inch twice so that it can be clean like clean on the inside as well so can you guys see now i'm going to just place my skirt pieces right sides facing each other and then i'm going to sew it on both sides somebody take your time and your worth just focus on yourself first don't let somebody take your time and your worth just focus on yourself first and guys this is what it looks like this is what it looks like at the end it turned out fabulous i love how it is this is how you wear it guys this is fabulous like fabulosity at its best if you try it out please don't forget to tag me on instagram at lara savage creations i'll be ready to showcase your work with all my growing followers and even here on youtube as well subscribe to the channel guys join as a member membership gives you so many amazing perks comment in the comment section like this video share within and outside your circle if you have any questions ask me in the comment sections i'll be ready to answer you and until my next video do have yourself a wonderful morning noon or night wherever you are it's still your favorite content creator and fashion entrepreneur lara savage Signing out.